Okay, we got all the corners done. And now when we put Now when we put these little brackets on here, it'll be nice and sturdy. All right, this is DJ Mikey Mike. We're almost done with the top part of our uh, bottom part of our case. <laughs> so we'll get that all wrapped up tonight. Get our uh, get more from Micah here tomorrow, hopefully, and we can finish out the case. Try to do it step by step, like I said. Uh, it's run into a long video. Hopefully I can shorten it down as best as possible, but you guys, uh, we're doing it from scratch today. Hey, hey, DJ Mikey Mike with Direct Sound. We're getting ready to build these cases up. I uh, don't have enough for Micah for the whole case and or the other one. I have to go down and pick some up tomorrow. Um, I just found out from my buddies at Penn Elcom that I can get the uh, I can get the plywood already covered with a really cool uh, veneer. Uh, looks just like for Micah, but it's uh, a little bit cheaper. You know, actually, a lot cheaper with the wood already glued down really nice. Uh, probably be the next way I go for my next cases. But for right now, I got to go with the Formica and put it on there. Uh, although it is bulletproof, uh, we're going to try out this next stuff for my next cases. I got a few more cases to build, but uh, this is going to be one for the video for right now. So we're going to get the aluminum extrusion on the sides and uh, we'll get you going. It should only take a little while to do. Uh, the case in total takes probably a couple of days to build if uh, you were just going to go straight through. Uh, one day for the, the case to dry, uh, for the wood to dry and the glue, wood glue to dry. And the second day to uh, put the Formica on and put the extrusion on. So uh, pretty much you can get it done in a couple of days. Okay, the real cool thing about these cases, they are all custom made to what you need. So your speakers will fit, your lights will fit, your sound system will fit, whatever you need, you can make it the way you want. You're just trying to make a custom case for uh, just about anything. I mean, you can make it for anything. You can make a doghouse out of it if you like. So anything you need, it's right here for you. Uh, use your imagination. Uh, I made a uh, some lighting out of it, uh, 40 foot of uh, angled uh, floor lights. Uh, you might have seen them in my one of my other videos. I still have those around. I haven't sold them yet, uh, but uh, they are going to be up for sale here pretty quick. Um, but they are awesome lights. I mean, they look really good. So uh, you can use your imagination and use this uh, style of uh, case building uh, for yourself. Uh, think about it. Um, that's all I can say. So let me get these cases underway. Uh, you can kind of keep an eye on what I'm doing. I'm just going to cut the uh, aluminum down. I'll show you step by step on how to cut it down. I'm going to be using a die grinder today. Uh, you can use a hacksaw. You can use just about anything you can do to cut metal with. A uh, jigsaw, uh, metal cutting, um, cutoff saw, whatever you whatever you have available, to use, use it to your advantage. Okay? So uh, here we go. Let me grab some safety glasses. Take my aluminum extrusion and butt it up against right about here. That way the end corners will cover that nice and clean right there. I don't have any uh, anything set up on each other. Now this aluminum extrusion is indented. It accepts this type of uh, extrusion on the side so it's nice and clean. Okay. 
and then I come to the other side and do the same exact thing. Okay, so I had to make a mark. Take this over to the bench and cut it off. Okay, it's that simple. Try not to clamp in too, down too tight so you don't get any grooves in your uh, Cut four of these for the corners, and then we'll be able to uh, put the top of the case together. On the bottom, there's going to be a small strap. I take up just a little bit of the top extrusion and the bottom. Just about like that. And this piece will go all the way to the edge with a with a 45 degree angle. Okay, these are the groove rivets I use. Small little groove rivets and a little pneumatic rivet gun. If you try to use a hand rivet gun, your hands will fall off. I am guarantee you they will fall off by the time you're done. Uh, you can pick one of these up at your local uh, discount hardware store, uh, pneumatic rivet gun. Pull, squeeze, it's done. It works great. Okay, uh, we'll do a couple corners here and I'll show you how it goes and we'll do the rest of the case a little bit later. Okay, put your ribbon in, slide down and squeeze. That's it. One ribbon at the side. 